long in. It's been on my heart. How many have seen miracles in your life? Seen a miracle in your life? Amen. Some of you have and are not thankful for it, but God does it every day for us. God merits miracles every day for us. Even when we don't see it, even when we don't feel it, God does miracles for us every day. You know what? You got up every day. You were not sick. You didn't have an accident. You were protected. You were warm. You were fed. You were clothed. You live in a free nation. You had the right to do what you wanted to do. You had a right for choice. He's a miracle worker, a way maker. Amen. And there's many times when you thought, I don't know how I can make it. But God was faithful, wasn't he? God was faithful. Amen. So he's a way maker, promise keeper. Amen. And so we're thankful today. And we need to be thankful. Amen. Praise God. Uh, it's been several years ago. And he gave this testimony. He, gave, he come in and during the offering, he gave the Lord 16 cents. When he left the church to go to Bowling Green to live with his sister, and most of you remember the name was Jerry. He run the camera for a long time. When, when he went to, to go to his sister, he had a truck, and he couldn't haul all the stuff that God had blessed that man with. And he started out with 16 cents. And I'm telling you, God sees your heart. It ain't the amount. It, it, and, and don't never think you're giving it to the church or the pastor. Whatever you give, give to the Lord. Because he's the one that gives you the harvest. In Deuteronomy 8.18, it says, Remember the Lord thy God. He's the one that gives you power to get wealth. So he does it for me. You give him praise. I'm telling you what. It's, it's, it's awesome. He's the king of king, and he's just the king. That's all I can say. He, he loves you so much that you're here today. That you're here today. Bless the offer, Brother Randy. God is good. Yeah, Ed. All the time, all by himself. And this is a day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. If we're saved, we've truly got something to rejoice about because we have been delivered from the powers of darkness. We have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. And the greater one abides within you. You know, as Brother Pastor Billy shared earlier, Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Then Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I went to the jail, and it seems like the number of the inmates now is kind of dwindled for a while, so I'm hoping it keeps going down. It was averaging around 255 to 260. Now it's been averaging around about 215, which that's a big drop, you know what I mean? But, you know, everyone needs Jesus. Everyone makes mistakes, don't they? And uh, I, 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 I'm really blessed because, you know, the Lord, you know, tells us he'll give us more brothers and more sisters more sons and more daughters, and so that's my sons and daughters out there. Say, you know, I've got more of them. I've got three natural, and then all these adopted ones. You know what I mean? But God is a good God, isn't he? If you will, just bow your heads. Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We thank you that you're opening up the windows of heaven, that you're pouring us out a blessing. We don't have room to receive it.